The new 1% levy on agricultural supplies that took effect two days ago has paralyzed Kakira Sugar Limited and a host of other sugar millers after outgrowers halted supplies since yesterday. Paying to, to meet our operational costs. And it was last week when uh, the mid amendment gave us an amended act, income act, uh, also instructing him to deduct 1% from the gross payment of our supplies. We are here with the farmers who are not satisfied and the farmers are saying they will not wear their cane until the... This afternoon, a meeting by the Busoga Sugarcane Growers Association and government following a petition on the waiver of the 1% agricultural levy barely delivered any breaks to the standoff. It's unfair for government not to sensitize the farmers before they begin imposing this kind of tax. Otherwise, for us, we have the obligation. We know why the government needs the money. So farmers are not ready to, to supply as, a, as, a, as, a, as they are spending too much. Kakira Sugar, that has now formally registered its frustrations on the net effect of the two-day standoff, receives nearly a million metric tons of crushing cane from outgrowers that it pays 15 billion shillings annually. We are appealing to them to try and be more reasonable and let our sugar cane come through, even theirs should come through. Mm. Meanwhile, they go ahead with the negotiations with the Minister of Finance. The theme for the new 2018-2019 national budget that seeks to collect 16 trillion shillings in domestic revenue mobilization is industrialization for job creation and shared prosperity. To strengthen tax administration, URA will continue to implement the following measures. One, strengthen business intelligence and risk management functions to detect non-compliance. Two, Expand the revenue management system to other revenue geographical areas beyond Kampala. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.